uh, as an individual myself, as a part of this country, as a citizen, uh, you know, we read in the papers what's happening, we see on news what's happening, and certainly I've also been alarmed. I can't deny that I have been alarmed by uh, by a number of incidents. And you know, it's for any society, it's very important to have a sense of security. I mean, there will be acts of violence anywhere in the world, and they would be there for different reasons. But for us as a society, as Indians, to feel a sense of security, two, three things are very important, I personally feel. One is a sense of justice. So if there is a wrong step that anyone takes, then correct justice is, is given out for or against that person. That gives a lot of sense of security to the common man. The common man feels that if he does wrong, justice will take its due course. That is one. The second thing that gives a sense of security, and that's a very important sense for all of us to have, is that the people who, who are our elected representatives, people who we select to look after us for, for five years, whether that's on the state level or whether it's on the, at the level of the center, uh, when, when people take law into their own hands, when there's a sense of insecurity, we look upon these people to take a strong stance, make strong statements, and, and, make, and, and speed up the, the legal process to prosecute such cases. When we see that happening, there's a sense of security. When we don't see that happening, there's a sense of insecurity. So it doesn't matter who the ruling party is. It's happened across ages, you know, it's happened in different decades, it's happened at different times. So it doesn't matter who is in power, but the fact of the matter is, and I often, you know, on television debates we see where one political party, in this case the BJP who's ruling right now, is accused of various things, and they say, but what happened in 1984? But that doesn't make what right what's happening now. What happened in 84 was, was disastrous. You know, what happened in 1984, was horrendous and what is happening you know at other times also through the ages whenever there is a violent act when an innocent person is killed whether it's even one single person or a collection of people that's very unfortunate and in these unfortunate moments these are the moments that we look to our leaders to take a strong step whether they're on the state level or at the center make statements which are uh, reassuring to us as citizens of the country that's what we look for yeah You know, but uh, sort of thinking about... So in that sense, to actually complete my answer, I think I went off a long way. To complete your answer, do I feel, do I agree with that? I also feel that there is a sense of uh, insecurity, there is a sense of fear, there is a sense of... Uh, More than there was... Earlier? Earlier. Yeah, I think in the last uh, maybe six months, eight months, there has been a growing sense of despondency, I would say. I mean, when I sit at home and talk to Kiran, you know, Kiran and I have lived all our lives in India. For the first time, Kiran says, should we move out of India? Now, that's a disastrous and very big statement for Kiran to make to me. She fears for her child. She fears for, you know, what the uh, atmosphere around us will be. Uh, she feels scared to open the newspapers every day. Uh, so uh, that, that does indicate that there is a sense of growing disquiet. It's a sense of growing despondency. Apart from alarm, there's one, one part of it is alarm. There's another part you feel depressed, you know, you feel low, you feel, you know, why is this happening? So that sense does exist in me, to be quite honest. Yeah. 